hey you guys what's up hey girl hey it's your girl tasha and welcome back to my channel if you are new here what's up i hope you'll stick around hang out with us for a little bit kind of get an idea of what my channel is about if you guys are curious to see what all is in this huge container of empties that i have then just keep watching all right you guys first thing is first gonna be a semi long one I will try to get through it as quickly as I can you guys know I love to talk a lot and give info so I'm just gonna start out by going through this no particular order the first product that I finished up is by Bodycology and this is their cherry blossom cleansing shower gel or excuse me cleansing shower jelly with moisturizing shea you guys I loved this it felt exactly like jelly but you only needed a small amount of product I actually stocked up in a video and bought like three or four of these I think they're super moisturizing the scent stays on your body for quite a while and it's just like an aroma aromatic experience aromatic it's an aromatic experience in your shower and I just really enjoyed this product I found mine at the Dollar Tree, and I've noticed a lot of people finding theirs at the Dollar Tree as well, so. Alright guys, so the next product is by Pixie, or Pixie by Petra. This is their Glow Mist. It has propolis and argan oil, and this is super hydrating to the skin. I've known some people to use this after part of their skincare regimen. Personally, I like to use this to set my makeup, and it just gives my face like this really skin-like finish with just the most beautiful glow ever without being greasy and oily in my opinion. The next product is by Dickinson's and this is their Enhanced Witch Hazel. It is a hydrating toner with rose water. I actually preferred this as opposed to the regular Dickinson's because it has a strong witch hazel-y smell. This one has more of a rose water scent, hence the enriched with rose water. Um, and it's just more of a pleasant toner to apply to the skin. The scent is not overpowering as in it stays with you for a while. That it does not. Um, it dissipates pretty quickly and it does the exact same thing that, you know, every witch hazel does. So, really enjoyed this. Would I pick it up again? Absolutely. Alright guys, so the next product is by Paracone MD. This is their new nutritive cleanser this is a, a six full ounce now if you guys don't know paracone md can get quite expensive this was a product i actually uh, was sent by paracone like a year ago and i just finished it recently um i don't feel like this did anything life-changing for my skin or anything noticeable so personally i would not repurchase this product per se um, I don't think that it did anything that my CeraVe cleanser can't do or any of my other cleansers for that matter. So I sadly would not spend the extra money on this product here. The next product is by Yes2. This is one of my all-time favorite cleansing balms. This is the Yes2 Coconut Ultra Hydrating Coconut Oil Cleansing Balm. What I love about this product is you can put this on, and this is literally a one-and-done cleanser. It removes all of your makeup, including waterproof makeup, and, you know, some of that other makeup that we wear sometimes that's, like, sweat-proof and budge-free, or it gets it all off, you guys. It is a super hydrating cleanser. It does not break me out. It just gives my skin this really soft radiant finish and I love it. I'm actually sad that I'm out of it. <laughs> the next product is by The Ordinary and this is their hyaluronic acid. If you guys are looking for an affordable way to add moisture to the skin and you know make this part of your skincare routine, The Ordinary's hyaluronic acid is actually one of my favorites. Currently testing out two other different kinds. So far this is my favorite. Sinks right into the skin. It just gives you that hydration without really interfering with makeup application or any moisturizers or anything else that you would put on your face after this. It's great. I love it. And it's under $10. The next product is actually a product that I've repurchased and repurchased and repurchased all of the time. This is the L'Oreal El Aviv Extraordinary Oil. It has Camilla and Sunflower Oils. I love, love, love this oil. I used to use Moroccan oil, the Moroccan Argan Oil, but it got quite expensive even having the hookup through somebody. 
to be able to get it cheaper it is so expensive after a while and I use extra oil because I have longer hair so generally what it says to use on hair is just not enough for my hair so I go through it rather quickly this is like six bucks at Walmart or less um, and the argon oil the Moroccan argon oil is like 30 or 40 dollars <clears throat> excuse me, for about the same size bottles. So this is the closest dupe that I have found to it, in my opinion, like consistency wise and what it does for my hair, not dupe for dupe ingredient wise, if that makes sense. Moving on to the next product, this is by Living Proof. This was actually sent to me by Influencer about a year ago. <laughs> um, and this is their Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. There's actually some still left. Um, I tested this out, wasn't the biggest fan of it. It just left that really bad white cast in my hair. And even if I used it sparingly, it was like it didn't do the job. So personally, I have not had a lot of luck with a lot of dry shampoos. So I can't say that it's just living proof. However, having the experience that I had, I would not personally spend the extra money. Living proof is like luxury hair care. So this bottle is probably like 30 bucks. <laughs> I actually passed it on to my mom as well and got it back, so <laughs> she didn't like it either. Moving on, this is from BH Cosmetics. This is the HD Brow Pencil in their Studio Pro line. This is like holy grail status, ride or die. My all-time favorite micro brow pencil. I don't know what it is about this formula. Um, but it's amazing. It's the perfect shade, the perfect formula. It's not too creamy. It's not too dry. It just lets you get those hair-like strokes. Honestly, guys, the only reason I have not repurchased this yet again for like the 20th time is because I don't want to wait for the shipping when I have so many other brow pencils that I need to use up. That's the only reason I have not repurchased this. Again, you guys, I don't know what it is about this formula, but it's awesome. It's super affordable, and that's just a perk. Moving on to the next product, you guys know if you've been with me, this is my Ride or Die setting spray of all time. This is the Milani Make It Last setting spray. This is their smaller one in a 2.3 ounce. This one is about $10 everywhere. But they also came out with this one late last year, and this is their 6 full ounce, and this is $15. I believe $14.99, so $15. So... Yeah, I no longer buy this version. Now, I do like this version for my purse, but this one lasts me so much longer. If you're looking for a really good setting spray and you have dry skin, oily skin, this is it, you guys. This is so much better, in my opinion, than the Urban Decay All Nighter. That one actually dries my skin out, where this one does not. Moving on, we have another skincare item. This is the 4-3 Beauty Rainfall Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Forgot that serum part. Um, I really enjoyed this one, you guys. If I had to pick this or the Ordinary, it w it would be hard to choose because I like them both. Now, the Ordinary is more affordable, and um, yeah, so I'd probably get the Ordinary one, I guess. I mean, especially if you're on a really strict budget, but they do the exact same thing. One's just cheaper than the other, in my opinion. Moving on, this is the Wet n Wild Expert Level Facial Cleansing Oil. I got this about two years ago, I think, when they released their, it was like a gym room collection or something tailored to like, you know, people that work out and things like that. Um, not a fan. I try, you know, I tried it back then. I liked it. I tried to try it again. I just don't like it. And I don't think that this is part of their permanent line anyways, so... I just passed. The bottle is only 1.52 ounces, and I believe this was like eight or nine dollars. You can find other really great drugstore cleansers or cleansing oils as well that are much larger. And to me, this didn't remove all of my waterproof makeup, I guess. All right, moving on. 43 Beauty again. This is their BFD cleansing oil. This one I love. I love to use this and then my Good Molecules cleansing balm. Or if I have this, you know, I rotate and do one or the other. But this is just an amazing all-around oil cleanse. This takes off all of your makeup. Um, it lasts a good long while because you literally only need one pump of this. One pump. And it's going to get all of your waterproof makeup off. All of it. Stage makeup. All of it, girl. 
But yeah, um, the only reason I have not repurchased this as of yet is because I was testing out some other skincare and I have to order it from ColourPop so it's going to take a while to get here. <laughs> but otherwise, love it. Moving on back to some makeup, I finished up another LA Girl our uh, LA Colors Browie Wowie Pencil. I use mine in the shade Dark. These are like three bucks at the dollar store. Uh, dollar General Family Dollar. You can also pick these up on LA Colors website. And it's just an amazing brow pencil. It's got a nice spoolie on one side. And then the triangle shape. Kind of like the Anastasia. Anastasia. It's not the brow is, y'all. It's the other one. But y'all know what I mean. Great brow pencil. The other one is by NYX. This is their Fill and Fluff. And I usually pick mine up, I think, in Espresso. Oh, this one's Brunette. So I like this one as well. This one kind of has like that toothbrush kind of a brush on it. And then the same kind of triangle. I just really like the formula of these. I love the brush. It just really depends on what mood I'm in as to what I use on my brows. Because I kind of go between pomades, pencils, micro pencils, triangle pencils. <laughs> Yeah, I know. I got issues. <laughs> All right, you guys, moving on. This is the It Cosmetics CC Cream. Yes, it is cut because It Cosmetics is expensive. And when I buy high-end or luxury makeup, I'm using every bit of it up. Now, I did enjoy this while I had it until the summertime came around last year. And it was like, oh my goodness. It is so heavy on the skin. And you know, during those winter months, you don't really notice it because generally your skin is drier. But in the summertime, it's like you have a very heavy mask on. I'm just probably not going to repurchase this again. I have found other products that I, I feel are better than this. It does have amazing coverage. It's very hydrating and it gives you a beautiful, beautiful glow. But I think it's a little over the top and a little heavy on the skin. And there are so many other affordable options. So if you were looking to try this product out, hit me up. I can do a video if you guys would like. But there are so many other better things on the market at the drugstore. All right, moving on to a couple of fragrances. We have the Gucci Guilty Perfume as well as the Tom Ford Black Orchid. <sighs> Y'all. I love Tom Ford Black Orchid. The only problem is that Tom, Hunty, Kwame, you're too expensive, okay? <laughs> so, like, I usually go on Macari and I'll buy these from people that got them from, like, Scentbird or some of the other prescription boxes, as well as I just picked up the other day, and I cannot find the bottle now. I think it's in my monthly favorites. Check out my monthly favorites video. But I picked up a like an imposter version of this on Etsy. Oh my gosh, you guys. I cannot wait to share it with you if you are a fan of this perfume and cologne because it is a very, very, very close dupe. And I'm just going to keep it real. I don't usually wear imposter perfumes because they don't generally smell like it and they don't last as long. So then you end up using more product yada 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 okay but i was looking at oil fragrances and we all know like oil fragrances they last a lot longer on the skin so i came across the seller on etsy and they had super high reviews everybody was testing out the tom ford one and so i tried it out i love it it's in my monthly favorites check out that video moving on <laughs> Gucci Guilty was not my favorite, you guys, and I did. I tried to use it as much as possible. It's just, I don't know. To me, it kind of smells like just, I don't know. It reminds me of a department store that, I mean, and I'm not talking like women just a little bit older than me. I'm talking like elderly, but elderly, but like wealthy women would wear and it's just I mean I have nothing against them it's just not my cup of tea I'm more sexy um sensual like vanilla amber sandalwood the caramel scent mixed with all of those like y'all yeah, that's what kind of scents I like this I think is a little too a little too floral for me not that I don't like floral scents I'm just digging myself a deeper grave if this is your scent I apologize <laughs> 
Moving on to the next product, you guys. This is by Jordana. I almost said Joa. This is by Jordana, and this is their Take Cover Concealer. Yeah, this was the first drugstore concealer that I tried out that was radiant but full coverage but it just so creamy and so yeah you can wear this as a foundation this is so so good this one is in the shade tan and oh you know what y'all yeah, I scraped the tube so I ain't even got done to show you <laughs> Anyways, this is only $5. You can also find it on the Joa or the Jordano website. But a lot of Walgreens carry this because I was able to find them in my Walgreens. So, yeah. Mine is in shade 09 Tan. This is so creamy. It's so full coverage. And it just makes the under eyes look healthy. And I love it. I absolutely love this. I actually buy these two at a time because I have issues. I actually have backup still. I have some in my drawer. I'm telling you, if you can find it, try it. Moving on to a lip liner that I always repurchase to have in my collection. This is the Jordana Easy Liner for Lips, and this is Rock and Rose. This is like the most perfect lip liner that goes with, I mean, literally everything. And I never not have this in my collection, if that makes sense. I think they're like $2.99 if you can find them at Walgreens. If not, they are online at the Jordana website. And I'm sorry, I have to say this Jordana is so, so highly underrated. The next product is by Wet n Wild, and this is their Ultimate Micro Brow. And this should be in brunette or dark. I do not see the shade on here, you guys. I think it's whatever their darkest brown shade is, that's what this is. There's nothing wrong with this. It just wasn't my favorite. Um, I would repurchase it again if this was all I could find. It has a really nice color on it. It just kind of glides through the brows. It's got a decent spoolie on it. The only issue I had with this one was it kept breaking on me. So, next product is my clean color. If you've been with me, again, you already know the Double Action Auto Brow Pencil is one of my favorites. It's got the triangle uh, tip on it, very nice spoolie, just all around amazing, very long lasting formula. And I just find it very, clean color is very underrated. But there's how deep the shade is. It is nice and creamy. Again, it lasts all day. These are like $1.50. Stick with me, boo, I got you. I can get you some seriously affordable makeup, okay? The next product is by CoverGirl. I think I drove you guys crazy about two years ago because all I talked about was this mascara. It's just a, a great formula. It lasts a super long time. Um, and then it's got that hourglass shape for brush. I like the packaging. It's very simple. It's just like a silvery gray. It says CoverGirl Exhibitionist. Y'all, this formula glides through the lashes. It lasts all day. And it does not do that thing on the under eyes. What do you call that? I don't know. <laughs> Where it kind of dries up and falls out, fall out. That'll work. It's really great uh, mascara. So I've used up several of these. The next product is by Good Molecules. This is their niacinamide serum. And it's formulated with 10% niacinamide to refine texture and minimize pores. Now you guys should have seen my skincare video already on Good Molecules. If you have not, I will link it up here. I've seen a very big difference in my pores since using this product. Now, I'm not going to sit here and say that my pores have drastically shrank because I don't think they have. But I do see a big difference in how clean they stay um, the majority of the time. I've actually had less breakouts since I've started using this. And I feel like my skin's not as dry. So, really, really enjoy this product. It's very affordable. If you have not tried Good Molecules yet, I'm telling you, you are missing out. They have some amazing, affordable products, and they're very similar to The Ordinary in the way that they are affordable. So, The next product, quickly, before my camera dies, is the Yes2 Ultra Hydrating for Dry Skin Coconut Milk Mystified Moisturizer. You guys, I love this. It's great for during your skincare, as well as setting your makeup with it, or even priming with it. It just gives a very beautiful glow to the skin, kind of like the Pixi Glow Mist, but I don't know. I've repurchased this several times, and I just love it. It's got some really great skincare ingredients, by the way. 
The next product is by L'Oreal, and this is their Elevia Extraordinaire oil, and it is an oil that turns into a cream, or cream that turns into an oil. Either way, it's a beautiful product for curly hair. It's very moisturizing, and I feel like I can get more curl days out of my hair with this product. Just kind of makes them really defined and easier to work with and style, and it just makes your curls so soft. Also helps fight frizz, and yeah, it's for dry damaged hair if I didn't mention that. Great product, it smells good, and it's super affordable. I will say this, I feel like L'Oreal can be very underrated when it comes to skincare as well as hair care. From L'Oreal, those are my two favorite categories. Um, I just think that you mostly hear people talk about their makeup, but their skincare and hair care, girlfriend. So good, so good. This is another L'Oreal product. This is my favorite drugstore moisturizer. This is the L'Oreal Hydra Renewal, you guys. This is like six or seven dollars at Walmart. Absolutely amazing, hydrating, very lightweight on the skin moisturizer. But I feel like this does the job of one of those thick, creamy moisturizers, if you know what I'm talking about. But again, without being heavy or weighing down the skin. Six bucks, I'm totally there. I've used this for a long time and it's a repurchase for me, so ride or die drugstore moisturizer. The next one is another drugstore moisturizer, but this is an actually a sleeping mask. So you apply this to your skin at night. So as I was saying, you apply this to the skin, go to sleep, wake up the next day, and you wake up and you have this beautiful, youthful, glowing skin. And it's not greasy, it's just a really natural, dewy glow, like... I woke up like this like hey I mean <laughs> it's a very lightweight it's more of like a gel moisturizer but it's still got cream it's like two like the two of them had a baby like that's what it would be if you had a gel moisturizer and a regular cream moisturizer mixed together but very lightweight um, I usually pick mine up at CVS there's nothing else to even show you in this container I was gonna show you um, but yeah, it's just really, really nice. Simple to me makes a lot of really good products for those with sensitive skin. I personally have sensitive skin, um, and I put my skin through the ringer. <laughs> but it says, Simple Sensitive Skin Experts Water Boost. It is the Skin Quenching Sleeping Cream. You get 1.7 ounce. It has minerals and plant extract. And it says, No artificial perfume or color. So there is no scent to this. Um, and again, it's good for sensitive skin. Great sleeping moisturizer. All right, you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and do like two or three more products and I'm gonna have to split this because I have so much stuff. <laughs> All right, the next one is by Tatcha. This is the Dewy Skin Cream. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this, you guys. However, I noticed after I'd had it for, I wanna say eight months or so, and I got down to about, well, here, there's still some product left in there. I tried to use it a couple of times, <clears throat> excuse me and I don't know like it didn't matter how long I waited my skin would start or the product would start to pill up as I started to apply makeup so I was like that's weird I mean this is a very pricey product but up until that point it was great beautiful glow that came through your makeup um, if I could afford to purchase this like continuously I would do it it's beautiful it has that signature Tatcha scent, and it just smells so calming and soothing. Um, I don't know, when you use this, your skin just feels so luxurious. You really do feel like you're doing something amazing for your skin, but like I keep saying, there are more affordable drugstore products that work just as good. I have not personally found a dupe for this yet, guys. But if you go on Pinterest and type in Tatcha, the Dewy Skin Cream dupe, I'm sure other people have. Um, <clears throat> I think somebody said one of the moisturizers by Shea Moisture, one of the rice moisturizers, is supposed to be a dupe for that. But guys, if you've ever tried anything by Tatcha, I, I find some of their products hard to dupe in a way. Alright, moving on to another skincare item. This is the Drunk Elephant Best Number 9 Jelly Cleanser. 
this one ounce was not enough time for me to spend with this, okay? <laughs> All right, you guys, welcome back. Sorry, I know everything looks a little bit different. Um, my camera died yesterday, so I decided to just go hang out with the fam bam and call it a day. So I'm going to pick up where I left off. Still quite a bit. I should probably just drop it and do another video, but I want to get rid of this stuff. So going into the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing Balm. This is one of my top favorite cleansing balms. It just does a really good job at removing your makeup. It does a great job if you're going to do a double cleanse. Um, it's just wonderful. And what I love about this one is that you don't have to completely rinse this off your face. You can just tissue it off or wipe it away and it leaves your skin super, super hydrated. So great cleansing balm. It's affordable. Love. The next one is also a cleansing balm if you're going to opt for a drugstore. This one is $4 cheaper than the Good Molecules one. It is also a really good um, cold cream cleansing balm. Now, if I had to choose, um, really to me, these are about the same. Now, in my opinion, the Good Molecules one is tad bit more hydrating in my opinion this one I completely rinse off because it doesn't state that you can just tissue this one off also I feel like I'm doing something good for my skin when I actually go in with the good molecules one because I use so much of their skincare so I'll probably just continue to use that one you know if it ever comes that it's sold out and I can't get my hands on it I would definitely opt for the pens next product is by glam glow this is the thirsty cleanse daily treatment cleanser me and this thing have a love-hate relationship. I actually started using this about a year and a half ago, and I've gone through several bottles, and they were all fine, great, nice and hydrating. But when I got to this bottle, I don't know if it was old or what, but I just was not impressed with it anymore. Um, I know from time to time, my skin does tend to get used to certain items, kind of like my hair, so I have to swap items out every now and again. Um, the other thing that I didn't really like about this, I didn't really feel like my skin was hydrated after I cleansed with it, so this is kind of expensive. Um, I don't even know if they make this anymore, actually. <laughs> so yeah, it, I mean, but it is kind of pricey, so I'll probably just stick to my cleansing balms that I love. Next product is by Pantene. This is their Intense Rescue Shots. This one was actually a sample that I got when I ordered something, I think, from like Walgreens or CVS. These are really nice. If you are a fan of the Pantene, what is it? Something Moisture. Anyways, their shampoo and conditioner, you will love these shots. You just put them in your hair and then I think rinse them out and your hair is super, super soft, hydrated, frizz-free, all of that fabulous stuff. Moving on, we have used up some more cleansing cloths, makeup wipes, makeup wipes. I told you guys I was getting rid of these. Makeup wipes. All of these are really, really good. I don't have any complaints. The only one I didn't really care for was these Aurora makeup removers. They weren't my favorite at removing makeup. These I picked up at Dollar General. So if you see these in like a 99 cent store, dollar store, I would say these are good for like if you're doing makeup swatches and you're sitting at, in, at your filming table wiping your hands off and stuff. Otherwise, I would pass on these. Bolero wipes, you guys know I love and highly recommend. They are fantastic. So these are the Bolero ones. These are compared to Summer's Eve Cleansing Cloths, the Assured Feminine Wipes. These are not bad. I actually really, really like these from the Dollar Tree. My biggest recommendation is, you guys know, we are not supposed to put anything inside of that area. So just be mindful of that. Be very careful when you are cleansing down there because it can cause you more harm than good. Same with these cleansing wipes here that are from the Dollar Tree. These ones are from Walmart. Any of the Equate... Um, cleansing towels like that for your face and stuff really really good and you get 40 of them in a pack they do last quite a while oh and they're nicely saturated i'm gonna move on to some facial mask here one of my favorites is actually by shea moisture and it's their coconut and hibiscus or hibiscus radiance mud mask it is really really good i've gone through several of these so probably one of these days just break down and buy the tub of it because this lasts a super long time the next one is a moisturizing lip mask from Burt's Bees. 
I find that these most of these lip masks that I have used personally are a gimmick so I would just prefer to buy lip mask in a tub and just apply it like a lip balm versus something like this it just it doesn't do anything for me this mask was a watermelon slice sheet mask. These were adorable, you guys. They were like in little circles. And you could just put them wherever you needed extra moisturization on your skin. I picked this up at Target. Nicely moisturizing. This one is by Garnier. This is their Skin Active Moisture Balm Sheet Mask. It says super hydrating and glow boosting. These are really nice, actually. Um, I wish they would do like a 10 for 10 so you could get 10 masks for 10 bucks. I think they would sell a lot more. Um, these are really, really nicely saturated. There is nothing worse than when you pick up a sheet mask and you think, ooh, spa day, I'm fixing to get it in, relax. Girl, and you pull that sheet mask out and it's dry. What am I supposed to do with that? <laughs> so these are really good. Um, the next ones, I got these at Walmart. They are by Boda Pure, And they had one called Breakout Control Moisture Boost. And there is a third one. They come in a pack of three. There's a third one, Something Radiance. I have not tried that yet. But these were really nicely hydrating as well. They're in the area where they have that big standalone... Um, it's like a end cap box and it has just tons of sheet mask in it um these came like i said in a three pack and i really liked them i felt like they were moisturizing um this one was breakout control so detoxifying um and i just thought that overall they they were pretty good for the price next some of my favorites are by wander beauty and this is the wander beauty baggage claim rose gold eye mask now i got these in a boxy charm one time and i was instantly hooked and i started getting them myself oh my gosh you guys these i save for very special occasions and i feel like they just give my eyes this plumpness and moisture and they make me look really awake if i haven't slept well which i don't anyway <laughs> so i really enjoy these again i do save these for special occasions because they're expensive but they work and yeah this is from bath and body works this is the la fleur shea and vitamin c shower gel this was part of their la collection so i'm not even sure if they actually sell this as part of their overall permanent collection um, but it says fresh cut blooms in a flower market the notes were french tulips water lily freesia blossom sparkling mandarin and sandalwood and it just had this really clean smell and if you are a fan of the bath and body works shower gels y'all know it's instant heaven in a bottle you're so moisturized you feel clean and oh, so good all right the next product is by ogx this is their locking in coconut curls finishing mist now i purchased this when it first came out a couple of years ago myself and then this one was sent to me by try it sampling and i actually enjoyed it this time the first time i purchased it i didn't really care for it but this is a nice really light but really light but effective finishing spray for curly haired girls if you're a curly haired girl like me you do not like this crisp crunchy finish to your hair you want soft lightweight but something that's actually going to hold those curls in place this is a great product next product is a repurchase i have repurchased this so many times um and this is the l'oreal lumi shake and glow dew mist Duma says it all, you guys. This will give you the most beautiful glow finish to your makeup if you're looking for that really gorgeous dewy glow. Personally, I think it's a little up there in price for drugstore, but the drugstore prices just keep climbing. I would wait for a coupon in a Sunday paper or a sale on L'Oreal products. So that's what I would do. The next product is I purchased this at Ulta. This is the Peach and Lily Glass Skin Refining Serum. Honestly, you guys, this is, um, it has peach extract and peptide complex. I prefer the Good Molecules Niacinamide Serum over this. Um, I just don't think that this had any noticeable changes to my skin like the niacinamide that I purchased from Good Molecules. So I would actually pass on this. That's just my two cents i think that was like 30 bucks and my niacinamide from good molecules around six or seven dollars so 
All right, next product. This is from Becca. This is the Aqua Luminous Foundation, and this was my summer shade in tan one year. This is a really beautiful foundation. However, if you're gonna wear this, I would probably wear it in the winter time when your skin tends to be more dry versus the summer. It's not gonna be very long lasting in the summer unless you set this down with a matte finishing powder and maybe lock it in with a matte setting spray. And by then, what's the point? <laughs> it does have a really nice luminous glow to it when you apply it to the skin. It's a very lightweight and it's just stunning. It is so stunning on the skin, you guys. Next product, this is the Good Molecules Niacinamide Brightening Toner. <sighs> You guys, this is one of the best toners I've ever used. Um, and this product was actually sent to me by Good Molecules. And I have since repurchased it. I really enjoy this. Again, it's just one of those products where I feel like I'm doing something good for my skin. And to use this, all I do is pour some in my hand. Kind of, you know, put get it on both hands and then just press it into the skin. And it just gives me some really nice hydration. I do feel like it has brightened my skin over time. And I just, I really love this. Next product is by Drunk Elephant. Now, I think I started to talk about this product when the camera cut off. This is their Bestie Number 9 Jelly Cleanser. It is said to purify and dissolve. It has cantaloupe and glycerin in it, you guys. This has got to be one of the best jelly primer or primers, cleansers that I have ever used. Uh, I had to stay away from Sephora. <laughs> I had to stay offline at Sephora because I wanted to purchase this so bad. Um, I'm still actually looking for a dupe for it. I thought that the e.l.f. one was going to be a dupe, but that one's like a whole nother jelly cleanser all its own. Like, this one is just, oh my gosh. I just can't, I can't justify spending that kind of money on a cleanser. But if you can try it in this little one ounce size, I say go for it. Another product that I finished up is another one, probably like the 12th or 15th jar of the Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation. If you have a dry skin, girl, you are gonna love this. It has beautiful coverage, like medium high coverage, and it just gives you a natural lit from within glow. And I also feel like this one has really good staying power on the skin, even in the summertime, and it's not gonna break the bank. This one is a dupe for so many of those high-end glowy foundations. Girl, this is $6 at Walmart. Beautiful foundation. I always have that in my collection. The next product is by Physicians Formula. This is their Youthful Wear Youth Boosting Powder in Translucent. It does give a beautiful glow, illuminating finish on the skin. If you guys check the description box, if you are curious in trying this, I have repurchased this several times on Amazon so it is in my Amazon store um beautiful powder I cannot believe that they discontinued this it was the best illuminating powder of life it really locks the makeup in but it gives you that lit from within glow all day long it's nice and lightweight oh, I have several of them <laughs> in my collection still the next product is Garnier Fructic Style Wonder Waves this is a soft or no, I'm sorry guys, it's a flexible hold wave enhancing spray. Personally, this is not my vibe. Um, I feel like it gives me buildup on, and it sits on top of my curls and it really makes them sticky and I'm just not feeling this. So I would definitely pass on this. Um, I feel like my mom and I both gave this a go because she actually passed this on to me. It's just not, not something that I like, but Garnier does make some really good products. Finally, last and final item. This is the Pantene Pro-V 3-Minute Miracle Daily Moisture Renewal. Um, I liked this. It was okay. This is part of their um, moisture renewal line. That's what I was trying to say earlier. Personally, I love their shampoo and conditioner in that line and the power shots and the detangler. Yeah, and the leave-in conditioner. However, this, I would probably pass on this one and go with the Aussie Three Minute Miracle because that one is to me more hydrating than this one. I felt like this one was essentially the same as their conditioner. So, all right, you guys, 
that is it for this episode of empties i hope that you guys enjoyed it i know i went through a lot of products if there's any product that you want to talk about let hit me up in the comments down below if you enjoyed an empties video seeing what i've used up please give this video a big thumbs up you guys really really helps me out if you are new here what's up my name is tosh i hope that you will hit the subscribe button before you leave today as well as the bell notification and as always i just want to say thank you to all of you that clicked on today's video I appreciate you guys so, so much for always taking time out of your busy days to come hang out with me and hear what I have to say. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you're staying uh, safe out there, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!